Hey everyone, welcome to my Florida garden that is designed from end to end for butterflies and birds and pollinators and you guys to enjoy on my YouTube channel. Today, I'm designing a special space for a special butterfly. We're actually two special butterflies that have yet to visit my garden, but their host plant is here and they have visited years past. One of the key things about designing a butterfly garden is you want to create safe spaces for them to have a little bit of protection, the caterpillars, so they don't get eaten by the massive number of predators that would love to snack on them. So we want to keep our caterpillars safe in a butterfly garden. So in creating spaces, you want to keep that in mind. Today, we're going to be working with pipe vine and planning for the polydoma swallowtail and the pipe vine swallowtail. In my garden, my pipe vine is hidden away right back here. And it's got a little trellis. Usually butterflies like to lay eggs on the little tendrils that stick up to the top which you can see no eggs but that's where you'll usually find them in little clusters now in florida um, the main dutchman's pipe vine is the woolly dutchman's pipe vine um, aristolochia tomentosa but i don't think that's what i have there because somebody said that the flowers on mine are too big but i also don't think that what i have is the a Dutchman's pipe vine that's called Aristolochia elegans, which is okay for the polydomus swallowtail caterpillars, but it will actually kill the pipe vine swallowtail caterpillars if they eat it. And unfortunately, the mama pipe vine swallowtail doesn't recognize it as bad. It recognizes it as a pipe vine and will lay eggs on it even if it's not. So you want to avoid the Aristolochia elegans variety of pipe vine. You guys, there are a lot of butterflies out today. I love it. It's getting to the point where I can't walk from one end to the other without having a butterfly swoop down in front of me. But still no swallowtails. And you know, when I went down to Peterson's and got the... Um, flame vine and the budlia i was talking to karen their owner and telling her you know i haven't seen any i was even checking her herbs to see if there were eggs on them and she said it's because it's been cooler so i'm hoping that's it but today let me tell you it's hot like when i walked out i felt that florida heat that i haven't felt in a while because it's been cooler in the mornings that it feels so good like it's a blanket of warmth and heat which i particularly love and so maybe that's a sign maybe they'll be back soon all right back to what we're planting i have these three potted and trellised pipe vines now this corky stem that you see right here is just uh, interwoven with it it's a broken off stem so ignore that corky stem passion vine leaf and this one here I'm checking them to make sure there's no uh, got frilly caterpillars on it these ones I know are the tomentosa because I put the little tags in them from the joyful butterfly when I bought them last year. And you can see Tomentosa. So I know these are the ones that are okay for both. So this is what I'm gonna add to that area. I'm actually gonna keep the trellis with them. So I don't have to worry about <laughs> unvining them. Because who wants to figure out how to get all that untangled? Oh, and speaking of Joyful Butterfly, I do have an affiliate link to them down in the description section under this video. Just tap the little word more, it says dot, 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 more, and it'll open my whole description section. And you can use that link if you shop through it. Then Joyful Butterfly pays me a little bit, a little bit, 
but it's nice and a lot of you use it and I love it and thank you. Okay, back to what we were doing. Okay, three pots are over here. Now I'll be back in a half an hour to start this project. I've got to go find my shovel. Did any of you see my shovel anywhere? Actually, I think it's behind me. I think it's right back there because that's where I was using it. Mr. Black Snake just spooked me again. You know, he doesn't have to move so fast or make so much noise all of a sudden. He needs to calm down. He needs yoga. I'm planting them in a circle right here with the trellises to the back. I'll be back in a minute to show you the them all in there and then I'll explain why and what else I'm gonna do. Okay, there we go. So the little trellises make a little circle. So that way inside as this grows and goes around and connects the trellises, it'll be a little safer space to keep things that might wanna eat the caterpillars out or just a place where they can go and be less likely to be seen. But that's not all. I'm gonna add another level of protection. One, two, and three. So, I'm gonna back up. Now my little inner trellis provides protection, but then as these grow up, they'll be able to grow into these three trellis pieces that round to the back trellis that has my existing pipe vine. And there can be a whole interior space that offers a little bit more protection because all living organisms need three things to survive food, water, and shelter. And we can have water in our garden and we can get the host plants and provide the right food. But if we don't put things in place to give them shelter, then the food and the water aren't gonna do much. You need to consider all three in your butterfly garden design. So if you're wanting to know exactly who it is we're trying to attract, these are pipe vine swallowtails and these are what their caterpillars look like. And these are polydomus swallowtails. And these are what their caterpillars look like. I absolutely love the polydomus swallowtail caterpillars the most. I just think they're adorable. Both of them, um, they get laid eggs in clusters and they hang out together. Like a lot different than some other caterpillars that are just like, want to do their own thing. They're adorable. I love them. And I hope you'll try adding some pipe vine to your butterfly garden. Let me know if you already have it. Let me know which of the two butterflies you've seen, maybe both. Let me know which caterpillars you think are most adorable. Tap the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, you know what? Some of you commented on my declutter video that you just love seeing my garden. You know how at the end I did a little walk through? So, you know, we can do that again. We can do a little walk through as I go up because I've got to go up into the um, garden room right now and get my drink. So, look at how scraggly <laughs> my swamp milkweed is from those monarchs. Oh my. And they're still out and about. This giant milkweed had all grown back. I mean, it wasn't huge, but it had little leaves. And uh, these two said, oh no, that's our dinner. Aren't they cute though? I've got some new plants there that I picked up at uh, Sweet Bay over the weekend that you'll be seeing in a later video, so make sure your notifications are turned on. Look at how the wildflower garden is filling in.